So I'm in the cornfield today, just checking it over. It was sprayed a couple weeks ago with nitrogen and fungicide. And then we got three inches of rain. So everything looks pretty good. I just grabbed a cob here. This one has 18 rows and about 35 kernels per row. So that's a pretty nice cob. And while I'm here today, I'm just checking in on the rye grass cover crop. This is annual rye grass. Seems to be pretty consistent. It was seeded in June when the corn was about the five or six leaf stage and it rained a few days later. And I will show you that now. So the corn looks to be at the six leaf stage. So today I'm going to spread rye grass into the cornfield before the corn gets too big and uh, canopies over. The rye grass that I'm going to seed today into the cornfield is very shade tolerant and uh, hopefully it'll survive underneath the canopy of the corn until the fall when we harvest the corn and there'll be uh, a cover crop underneath. If the corn gets much bigger, I won't be able to drive in here without doing damage. Okay, that job is done. I only did 10 acres because it's still an experiment. And if it doesn't rain this week, it will definitely not work. Lots of rye grass right here. And the corn looks like it could use some nitrogen. This is gonna help with uh, harvest, give the combine some extra traction, and this will help uh, build the soil structure. Well, overall, the corn looks really good. And the ryegrass looks good. We should be ready for harvest in about two months. Are you trying to stay awake? <laughs> 